Let's hop to another quickie here. Pick from the Daily Mail. Kamala Harris's husband, Doug Emhoff, slapped me in the face so hard I spun around. I'm disgusted by his fake, perfect spouse persona. It's all coming out. You know what they want to play? Let's play. You want to come up with fake assertions? We'll come up with real accusations. How do you like that? And by the way, there's actual real witnesses here. And by the way, she did file a police report. Oops. You want to play? Let's play. Let's go to the next one, Will. Just more on Kamala Harris right now. This is the Kamala Harris section. Great job here. Another great job. Great job. Yeah, thank you guys. Join in. Come on, Will. We got we to gotta acknowledge this. Will, you fought in a war. How would you like to go over to this one? Because now you have the North Koreans fighting on the side of the Russians. Not at all. It's great. Great job. October 24th, 2024. Here we are. This is where we are. You know, it only takes three and a half years to get to this level of decline in the United States of America. The, to, get the, to get the world into this level of calamity where you now have 2,000 North Korean troops stationed in Russia to fight off Ukrainians in a specific region of that country. Amazing, isn't it? The, where, the level that it goes downhill in a short period of time. Did, do we ever have North Koreans transported by Kim Jong-un to Russia under the Trump administration? Um, did we ever have Russia invade Ukraine under the Trump administration? Did we ever have Hamas invade his, Israel under the Trump administration? Did we ever have Houthis shooting missiles at the United States Navy under the Trump administration? No. But what, may, how can you be a leftist and honestly believe that the world is better? And if you see that it's worse, why do you keep voting for it? In the name of some sort of convoluted political victory that could be your own demise? 